subscribing followers. I'm back with another explore. It's another revisited from the old channel. We're just going to get a new video back of um, the Clifton Marina Trail and the wetter Palliura. Um, we're going to start off with the wheel chamber and the gal pit straight to uh, Fletcher's Folly, straight to um, Fletcher's Canals, and we'll go and have a look at um, Brinley's water pump area and uh, I'll give you a bit more history as we get there give you the dates and stuff and we're back on the trail it's a nice day for exploring so let's get to it it's a proper nice day for it we're just on the trail to um, the gal pit and I've never been here we have to fletch as far looking so burr see straight through the trees. We just look at the uh, sun beaming. What a beautiful day. Especially for exploring. Yeah, Clifton Marina itself, the reservoir, was built in the 60s during the construction of the uh, M62, which is now part of the M60. It's obviously been farmed into a country park throughout the years. And we're just going to uh, take a shortcut over this way and go and find the gal pit. Muddy up here. <laughs> Someone's got the uh, petrol car there. That was our old steps. some woodcraft <laughs> yeah. I think this is where um, the gal pit is Pretty muddy here. <laughs> Not got the right boots on for this. A lot of people come through. Be alright. So, yeah, this is the, uh, I think, the wheel chamber and the gal pit. of the wheels. Why would someone do that? I'm sure that wasn't there last time. Of course it what? So this would have been a big wheel generating I would have far water out into the river Irwell. There's a smaller one here as well. Didn't notice that last time.
Yeah. The wheel in the gal pit. The gal pit's just over there. We'll go and check that out now. There's the remnants of the wheels. Still solid. Papa. Just amazing how any of this is still here. Amazing. Let's move on to the next bit. Right, um, we are currently at Brunley's excavated water pit, wheel pit, where he would have pumped water out with a 23 metre water wheel which would have um, pumped up water up through um, a tunnel straight back into the uh, well it would have got rid of most of the water and that is the canal entrances from uh, Fletcher's canals and uh, I'm gonna jump over in a sec and get a closer view for you. This was built to help Matthew Fletcher. Or should I say John Heathcourt to finish his pits. What he kept on getting problems with with water and uh, obviously other problems. And he got an engineer to come up with a genius idea to pump water uphill and get it flowing back into the air well. And this would have been the pit for what did this. Along with the wheel what was next to it. Right, we're on the other side guys. And we're actually at the bottom of the spiral stairs. And it is incredible in here. This would have been a system to get rid of all the water for the mines. There's a big entrance and a door there, a sliding door. A canal entrance there for a boat. Collect all the coal from. Oh, everything would have been going on here. But I will show you all inside of me. Obviously that must have been the door for the uh, coal mining and above it is where Fletcher's canal would have been and that would have been an opening as well as that side there or that actually might have been an overflow for the water being pumped out. Let's go down a little bit further. And it's literally submerged in water. There's an actually um, a turbine at the bottom which they replaced the old wooden wheel in 1867 I think they replaced it with a new system with a new turbine thing and it's submerged in water which is still down there somewhere just get, get a look at this it's amazing just look at the brickwork all the ironwork what's gone into this don't forget guys this is the earliest pit known in the country built in 1740 and obviously bits had it all on, on the way but it's just incredible the industrial process in all of it that's another tunnel there but yeah Mr. Brimley's uh, 
genius idea uh, to get rid of water of, from the mines so they can do what they do. I'm going to head back up and show you the rest of the tour and get a few pictures. Truly incredible that. Such a better view from down here than walking down to it. Let's go. Um, we are just currently stood inside Fuerte's Canal. As you can see, it's all corroded half of it and everything's pretty much gone all the way around Fuerte's Canal. What a bit of times to be working in the industry. We'll just go and make our way up to the uh, the entrance to the pit. Or should I say? like a fox tunnel or maybe a, yeah that's definitely a fox tunnel huh? what do you guys think looks pretty big for a rabbit oh guys wow I didn't expect this when I came The gate is hanging off. Well, well, well. We'll go and have a sneak peek. Well, here's the other side of the uh, Brimley's um, water pump. And this is where the canal entrance would have been straight to it and come straight out onto Fletcher's canal going all the way around and obviously connected it to um, Bolton, Manchester and Bury Canal so we could uh, export more coal and everything more fast and get it out there so let's go and have a look guys alright guys about to make our way through this maze. Yo. And there it is.
this is mad. The people that was there can hear them talking about the, <laughs> about the pit. And as I say, I'm way back here. Getting stuck in mud. Mud. Blood. That was a mad little experience, don't you think? <laughs> people on the other side talking but just fascinated by all the brickwork and everything's been put together for all this and I'm gonna move on to the next one because uh, time's getting on and we've been here a while let's move on to the cottage and the Fletcher's Folly the old uh, chimney for the steam engine Go guys. Here we are at the cottage where the famous Jack Grass lived. He was the gamekeeper for Clifton House before it got damaged by a fire. And this is his cottage at the bottom of where Fletcher's Folly is, which is just at the top of the hill, and we're going to see that next. The old uh, chimney. Farthest from the steam engine, but yeah, let's look how, how much is left of the cottage. Not much, really, but yeah, incredible fireplace still at the bottom and everything. Doors window frame and I don't know what this is going all the way around the edges maybe that was just a hallway going upstairs or I don't know which what what do you think guys let me know in the comments could have been leading up upstairs we have another fireplace at the back there Amazing. Well preserved. Now we're gonna uh, go check out the chimney. And get some pictures of that. And that'll be the uh, wet earth probably we done for a second time. the Fletcher's Fire and it's got quite a bit green since last time I've seen it can't see the proper nice brickwork properly so I'm just walking up <laughs> walking up at these trees here guys and if you remember the last one I lost my drone up in these trees and it's not there anymore <laughs> It's gone. So yeah, someone's found that. Oh well. I'm gonna get a better one. With a better Wi-Fi connection, I think. Okay, there's the chimney for the steam engine. And I don't know how it would have all been rigged up. But it would have been a lot bigger than that. Let's go and get a course walk. Well, that is pretty much all we've got time for today. We'll be back with more adventures coming pretty soon. 
I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel, Aaron's Urban Exploring. My Facebook, Aaron's Urban Exploring, and then also Instagram. And yeah, just follow everything I do. Make sure you're up to date with all my videos. Leave a like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn the notifications on. Um, yeah, that's all. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out, guys.